Here's your 41 Now update, sponsored by Kansas City Regional Association of Realtors. I'm Kevin Holmes with a look at your headlines from 41 Action News. An Overland Park girl fighting for her life right now. Police say a driver hit the 14-year-old on the sidewalk while she was walking home from school. Officers tell us the driver of the car lost control of their car near 127th and Schweitzer. That's just south of the Oxford Middle School and Oak Hill Elementary. They say the driver hit the girl near 123rd and Schweitzer and eventually hit the fence and crashed at 121st and Schweitzer. Drivers may want to avoid most of Ward Parkway. Tomorrow is the Rock the Parkway Half Marathon. 7,000 runners, 7,000 have signed up for the race tomorrow. Ward Parkway will be closed from Wernal up to 55th Street starting early tomorrow morning until about 1030 a.m. Tomorrow, Worlds of Fun reopens for the 2019 season. It is the year of anniversaries, by the way, for the amusement park. The Prowler, it's been prowling for 10 years, Spinning Dragons for 15 years, and the Timberwolf has been around for, get this, three decades, 30 years. Your forecast is next. Did you know there are many factors up for discussion in a deal? A realtor will look at every angle from your perspective, including crafting a purchase agreement that allows you the flexibility you need to take that next step. Visit KCRAR.com to find a realtor near you. I'm meteorologist Gerard J. Bailey. We have some frost possible later on tonight. Temperatures dropping near freezing, especially north and along I-70. So if you have any of those plants that are already in the ground, you may need to cover them up, do what you can to protect them. As we move into Saturday, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures only reaching the low 50s, and we're tracking a storm system that's going to move by. It may just barely miss the Kansas City area, but some spots to the south and east, Clinton, Sedalia, Warrensburg, Harrisonville, and Pleasanton may get some rainfall tomorrow especially into tomorrow night as well. So Saturday night into Sunday morning, we are looking at the chances for some rainfall. It's going to be chilly enough. We could see a little bit of that changing briefly over to some wet snowflakes, but it won't cause any issues on the roads. Royals forecast 715's first pitch, 50 degrees. We'll see clear skies by the end of the game. Pretty chilly, but very light winds out of the west, around 43 degrees for your temperature by the end of the game. Remember, we got all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com.